Hello everyone. It's always so good to, to see well I don't see you, I guess. <laughs> you see me but I don't see you. I'm gonna see you someday really soon here, especially the way things are going. It's absolutely insane the things that's happening around the world now. But uh one day very soon. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Praise God. What a reunion that's gonna be. I can't wait to, to meet all of you folks in person. What a time that's going to be. You know, this weekend, uh, it's been a very busy weekend, but uh, it's, it's my, uh, I went and we, I've been celebrating with my classmates our 45th uh, reunion from high school. Can you imagine 45th? I mean, if it was if it was the twenty fifth, I would think I'm man, I'm getting old. <laughs> but forty fifth, come on, <laughs> where did time go? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's crazy. You know, I told one of my classmates. Uh, I was saying when we went to the old high school, we was going through and we did the tour and and uh, we saw our picture. They had our picture hanging up. You know, the class picture for the year that I graduated, 79, 1979. You know that, that picture, it's kinda, it's kinda getting yellowed looking. I remember when I was in school, some of the really old graduation pictures, how they were yellowing, and I'm thinking, my word. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I was telling one of my classmates, life goes by so, so fast, time, that, that amount of time, it really feels like today, like we, uh, like we just graduated from high school, and then we stepped out through the door through a time machine, and here we are in 2024, the age that we are. Where does time go? I don't know. I just don't know. It's crazy. But I tell you what. When I was in high school, I'll tell you a little story here, and I mentioned this before in other videos. When I was in high school, I was so shy that I couldn't talk to anyone hardly at all. I had a few friends, but I don't know what kind of conversation we had because I, I just never talked much, you know. I couldn't help it. I was so shy. But, you know, the Lord, He miraculously delivered me from that. I, I told that to a lady just yesterday, how oh, that the Lord delivered me from being so shy. It's not that it's so bad to be shy. I, I believe that it's for a reason, like I told her. You know, uh, if I would have been uh, like I am now, the direction of my life, it's hard to say how that things would have turned, and it's not that it'd be bad or anything, but it, it could be. You know, who knows? I believe that God makes you the way that you are for a reason. Anyway, he, he set me free when I was in my early 40s. I couldn't do what I'm doing today if I, if, I, uh, if I was shy like I was in high school. I just couldn't do it. But I had the greatest time. Um, went, to, went to a couple of different functions there, and it was just, it was so nice. To, to talk to you. I believe I talked pretty much with each and every one that was there. I tried to, anyway. If I missed anyone, I didn't want to. I, I wanted to talk to everybody. But that was just, that was so nice. It was so nice. And I feel so blessed that all of these people, that they've been part of my life, even though I haven't seen them for so many years. So, some some uh, people I went to I started grade one in in grade one I remember my goodness starting in grade one with some of these uh, some of these people that were there uh, the memories down through the years and, uh, and I haven't seen them since high school it was just it was nice but you know I, it, it I couldn't help but uh, but think of uh, what it's going to be like for us all one day soon when we all get home. Can you imagine? I mean, 
Um, we went to one of the classmates' homes, and uh, a friend of mine that plays guitar too. Well, we dug out our guitars, and we, uh, you know, we interacted and told all kinds of stories, and we had the greatest time. But then we dug out our guitars and having lunch and everything, and then everyone started ch to chime in, singing, and that's what I really, really liked. It was just so much fun. But we we sung some of the old songs from from way back when we were in high school, you know, years ago. Uh, I, I, I don't dare to say the artist names maybe, but um, you know, about Take Me Home, you know, uh, one of my favorite songs, Country Road, you know, and things like that. And everyone, of course, everyone knows the song and the artist, I just loved his music. I really did, and I still do. But we, we had the greatest time all singing along, and most of us, and uh, I tell you what, I, I feel so blessed knowing all of these people. But, you know, one of these days, <coughs> excuse me, one of these days, very soon, we're going to see Jesus face to face, and all of this foolishness will be over, all of the thread of, you know, I can't say some words, some things on YouTube. There's extreme threats now, and it's reality. It's not. It's very, very possible, and I, I'm afraid it actually is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. You know, we're in very, very serious times, but we don't need to be afraid because uh, if you, especially, well, only if you know Jesus. You don't have to be afraid if you know the Lord. But if you don't know the Lord, it's very, very serious, that's for sure. But I sure look forward to, to sitting around a campfire with you all, singing some, singing some wonderful songs and playing music and all singing. It's going to be great. And the food will be heavenly. <laughs> and there won't... I don't believe we're going to gain a pound when we eat in heaven. We can eat all we want. So imagine that. I, I tell you what, that's going to be nice. I, I can't eat hardly a thing. If I sniff lettuce, I'll get, I'll gain. I think it's crazy. <laughs> a very efficient. I call it a very efficient body, because I can just about live on nothing. <laughs> anyway, I love the forest. Uh, around here in Maine it's just really really nice but you have to watch all the time for animals uh, you know especially where I live you never know if you see something really black in the background please let me know it's chances are it's a black bear <laughs> not that you could let me know any which way you could leave a comment Mark look out <laughs> you know last just this last week, the other day, I looked out of the window in the front of the house there, and uh, I noticed something in behind the car, and I was thinking, well, it must be the neighbor's dog or something. About the size of a, a mid-sized dog, you know. And I'm thinking, well, it must be the neighbor's dog. I kept looking. That's no dog. That's a cat. It was a Canadian lynx. <laughs> That's a pretty good sized cat, you know. Bobcat is a little bigger than a house cat, but a Canadian lynx? No. That that's I'm I'm trying to think now. That's probably about the size of a I'm thinking like a sheep dog, maybe. It's a pretty good sized cat. Well, I <laughs> it's not like you'd want to step out the door and and uh try to pet that kitty. <laughs> And it was right in behind the car. It looked like it just almost ran up against the bumper of the car, and it's walking. I tell you what, you know, that really those animals are usually anyway. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. You know, even bears, unless they have a cub, they're not going to bother you. But uh, it's interesting living where I live. Sometimes you never know what you're going to see. But I'm surprised that you all haven't seen something in my videos here when I'm doing a video of deer walking by or something. I'm just, I'm surprised. I, one time I saw uh, some fishers across the road from where I live. You're thinking, 
Where do you live, Mark? You live out in the boondocks big time. <laughs> I actually, I don't. I, I live about six miles from a pretty good sized town. I just happen to, to live uh, out in the country. <laughs> It's in his country, but anyway, Maine is a beautiful state, that's for sure. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta let you go here, but I just, uh, I just, uh, I just, I enjoy my time with you folks, and I truly look forward to the time that we can have, or we all can have a reunion, like what I had with my high school classmates. Oh, that was just precious, precious memories. Anyway, oh, somebody mentioned me singing that song that I did last week. Uh, if I could sing it separately from my video so that they could put it on a song list, you know. And, you know, it's funny. I was thinking the same thing. I almost, I almost made two separate videos last week. And I, uh, I just, and then I thought, well, probably wouldn't matter that much. But anyway, so if I sing something, I'll be sure to do something like that. I'll sing it separately so that you don't have my message along with the song so if you want to put it on a song list I just thought I'd mention that I'll try to sing more I, I, I had the greatest time singing over the weekend here and I stopped in to see my aunt we did she plays guitar and we had a great time I surprised her and showed up you know but she she lives close to where I went to high school but anyway we had a great time playing and singing that was that was awesome my family, they've always been very musical, you know. But anyways, uh, anyways, I want to give you folks a give you folks a brotherly hug, and uh, I know that for some people that might watch my video for the first time, well, that's really strange. <laughs> I just feel too, folks. I can't help it. I, I, uh, I love you all. I really do, and I mean that. Uh, I, I truly mean that. I look forward to meeting all you folks in person. I, I really do. I'm not just saying that, but you you folks know me enough that you know that uh, I'm not just telling pulling your leg there. I can't do that anyway. <laughs> not physically, okay. <laughs> and I wouldn't if I was in person either, okay. <laughs> I'm just being silly again. But anyways, uh, I want to pray for you all. Precious Lord, I just, uh, Lord, I pray that, that you would just touch each and every one. I pray that, uh, pray that it will be well with their soul, each and every one that's listening. When that time comes, when the trumpet sounds, and uh, you come to take us home, I pray that, pray that we're all ready, Lord. Pray that, uh, pray that we're all ready and watching, and we we anxiously anticipate your return, Lord. But until then. I pray that you would just encourage, touch and encourage each and every one, meet every single need, Lord, I pray. And uh, Lord, the, those that feel so alone, um, they feel so alone and they feel beaten up by life, I feel to say that. You feel beaten, you, you feel like you just, you couldn't feel worse if somebody pounded on you in a, in a boxing ring or something. You. You just feel beat up in life. Uh, God is there. He is there to hear my prayer, to wipe away all anxious care, like that song. I don't dare to say too much of that song, or I might copyright, you know, but... Uh, oh, the Lord is there. He's with you. He's with you even unto the end. He's not, he's not like people that have let you down. He'll never let you down. He loves you. He loves you. He's very concerned about each and every one of you, and uh, his, his love is is beyond understanding. It really is. He loves you so much. Anyway, I pray, Lord, I pray that you would help that lonely one to not feel so lonely, and encourage those that need encouragement and uh, those that are in pain and suffering. Oh Lord, I just pray that you would really, especially, touch them. Lord, I thank you for hearing and answering just a simple prayer, Lord. Thank you for being with us. You're always with us. You're always with us. Thank you so much. That's true, you know, the Lord, 
He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of the world. You must be able to see them orangey looking flowers, wildflowers in the background. Kind of pretty. But the Lord, he said, I'll, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of the world. He meant it. I was thinking this last week. You know, God, when whatever he says in his word, he means it. We don't have to hold God to his word. His word is solid. It's solid and sure. Anything that he says in his word, it, it's like, it's so sure that it's reality. It's, there's, no, there's no question that whatever his promises are for you, there's no question. It's rock solid. God's word is, 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 is it's as solid as, it, as anything could possibly get. I was just thinking of that this week and realizing that, you know, I've always known that, but some things they just, they just, uh, I don't know, you just come to a realization of certain things and it's just more real than you ever noticed, you know, or than you, you ever thought of. Anyway, uh, I love and appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, and I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Oh, we're going to have a time when we get over yonder. I thought of a song, an old hymn. I would have loved to have sung it, and wouldn't you know it was copywritten. You know, folks, I I don't say too much there, but uh, I, un I understand newer songs, but older hymns that are that people copyright, and it locks them down so that you have to get a license to sing them or permission. An old hymn, you're not going to make money on. I mean, come on. Um, it's kind of frustrating, I have to say. I've done it. I've been there, done that. I, I remember one time my wife, she made a... Get this now. This is so silly. I, she ma had to make out a check for 17 cents. <laughs> Every time I think about that, I laugh about it. Come on. Something that was copywritten, we had to send royalties or whatever you call it. I don't bother with that stuff anymore. I won't sing it if it's not public domain, but 17 cents. You certainly couldn't buy a Happy Meal with that. <laughs> Anyways. I do love to sing, and I I uh, I plan on I do plan on singing more. And I I sung last week. I'll try to remember to sing that song again, along with a lot of others. And I'll sing them separately so that you you all uh, if you, anyone that likes it, you know, they can put it on a song list. I just like singing for fun, and to, especially to worship and praise the Lord, bring, bring adoration to Him. And, uh, and of course, to encourage you all out there, I just, I love and appreciate you all so much. And I can't say that enough. I really can't. You're, uh, you're, you're all very dear to me, even though we've never met. And uh, somebody that is a total stranger that's watching me right now, how can that be? You, how can you care about me? I do. We've never met. I don't even know you personally. But if you're watching my video, you mean the world to me, you really do. That, and I give God all the glory. It's because of, of God and His love in my heart that I feel that way. And any love that you feel from me, that's coming straight from Jesus and a whole lot more. He loves you so much. Anyway, I better let you all go. God bless and keep you. Here we go. One more time. And you never know, it could be the last time, but... Bye for now. Just for now, folks. But bye for now. We're going to we're going to see each other soon in heaven. <laughs> bye for now.